Hi, I'm Dr. Keith Loud, Chair of Pediatrics and Physician-in-Chief here at the Children's Hospital at Dartmouth-Hitchcock, or CHAD. Almost since the beginning of the pandemic, a team of child health professionals and infectious disease specialists from here at CHAD have advocated for a return to school as soon as it was safely possible. Indeed, many local districts navigated COVID-19 successfully over the past 2020-21 school year. We've seen a few things and learned a few things, which gives us confidence that we can once again advocate for all students to return to school for the upcoming 2021-2022 school year. We also know that regional public health leaders have been very thoughtful in adopting and adapting national CDC recommendations for safety strategies in schools. They have noted our relatively high vaccination rates in our two states of New Hampshire and Vermont, as well as our ability as a community to pull together to enact protective strategies. We are therefore highly supportive of the guidance published by the states of New Hampshire and Vermont. Among the highlights from those recommendations include our strong recommendation that everybody be vaccinated as soon as possible. That will include younger children when the vaccine is approved for those age groups. We also recommend that we do not allow anyone to go to school when they're feeling sick. This helps prevent the spread of all viruses. And they should not return to school until they are without fever for at least 24 hours without medicines. Your PCPs should help determine whether or not COVID-19 testing will be helpful in determining when it's safe to return to school as well. We should all continue our hand hygiene washing practices and enhanced ventilation approaches that were adopted in 2020 and 2021. We don't need to continue as enhanced cleaning processes that we may have adopted as we learn that surface transmission of the virus is not as high. Three feet of space among students is a good goal, but is also not required if masks and the other strategies are in place and barriers, physical barriers between students or between staff members are similarly not as necessary. Now I know masks are an area of particular attention. Masks for all inside are required when the levels of virus circulating in the community are at moderate or above levels as they are now. Consideration for adapting or changing the recommendations could come when vaccination levels rise but for the time being, most students will expect to start the school year wearing masks indoors. We do need to note that children with special needs who are unable to tolerate masks should be accommodated without masking in schools regardless of vaccination status. Full in-person instruction is paramount for all children to live their healthiest, happiest lives. There should be few, if any, barriers for all students to return to full in-person instruction for the coming 2021-2022 school year. As my friend and school physician, Dr. Stephen Chapman here in Hanover always notes, with data, community, and kindness, we can do this. We already have. Please check out www.chadkids.org for the latest updates as we will keep them posted there and have a great start to the school year.